بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. In this lesson, I would like to show you how we can tag slabs and rock foundation or maybe a foundation also. Here I have this this slab as you see. Here I have reinforcement also. So what I'm doing, I'll just select this one, not the area tab. So I should just select the slab, and after that, right click or right or or I can just change it to wireframe. You see, I can just change to wireframe, no problem. Or I can uh, decrease the. Uh, <coughs> I can uh, what I can do, or I can uh, decrease the opacity of it. As you hear, uh, it's divided into some groups, right? And like this thing here, here we have uh, in. Uh, you see, it's variable. We have like this. So how we can. Uh, set uh, like if we have uh, like this this one how we can set it to our uh, tag reinforcement so how, how we can do as you see we can just select uh, this one or we can say uh, show only in the middle again we we uh, repeat this procedure for all of this okay for the bottom and uh, top and bottom part you see because we have two two parts so uh, we have to select everything and make the same thing do you see here uh, again this one I want to show uh, by the way I can I can select some some of them okay it's not uh, only this one so I can uh, select some some of the bars and to show uh, some of the bars not all of this like this anyhow so as you see here I cannot uh, make it because it's not not a kind of group right but the other side of also i can't do it uh, because it's variable so each one is one and here also and as you see here we have uh, variables so uh, I see we don't have uh, a select like this okay no problem so let me let me try to to, to make uh, this one first how we tag this one for this one because we have a slab so uh, what we need uh, we need uh, a ribot tag or multi ribot tag okay, in addition uh, we go with uh, aligned multi ribot tag or uh, maybe this one linear and uh, no problem uh, align I think is uh, works better Alk, just like this, and you see, I have put uh, at the uh, uh, at outside, or maybe inside, no problem. After that, what I can do, I can just another click here or, uh, and another click here. So, what it tells the what what this tells us, as you see, it's like this, but. Uh, maybe I don't need like this why or maybe I if I move this one up to this point so it's, it's more more clear for me what we have we have 31 bar uh, 30 millimeter uh, and the bar shape is, is bar number is one so how we ca can solve this uh, how we can make this one uh, looks better uh, we see first uh, we see the tag and uh, we see what we uh, the, the tag parameter and the dimension linear is, is here uh, with the trick uh, trigger uh, this one okay so if I change this one to any kind uh, or any other type you see something like this but what I'm doing now I'll just go to annotation tab and from the dimensions uh, linear dimension types uh, I will uh, select one of them maybe this one uh, let me f first try to this one here is good or not uh, what we have center on a row as here we can see all the dimension lines <laughs> let's try this one you see it's something uh, something kind of like this but I don't need like this I have to modify it okay so no problem with annotation 
dimension, dimension style, and maybe a row, uh, we duplicate this one to something AP, uh, AP slab reinforcement. Okay, that is very good. So, what we are doing with this, uh, this one is open. Maybe we can uh, we use another one or the closet or not. It's up to you. Okay. Uh, the witness line gap between elements is 1.5. Uh, the witness ex line extension, as you see, mm, we can make this one one millimeter. And about the uh, interior. I see this diagonal two millimeter, but I want to be uh, open dot. Uh, it's dynamic. Uh, let's say always show and the uh, text offset. I want to be one millimeter, and we say okay. And now select the tag and change back to uh, change this one to E. Uh, sorry, not the tag, uh, but this one change it to EP. AP slab reinforcement applied and okay as you see now we have this kind of dot and which uh, indicates that this bar is up from this point up to this point uh, again I can I can uh, make some adju uh, other adjustments uh, annotation dimension dimension linear so uh, I will go with EP slab line gap between is uh, as we said here the flip uh, let's say this one also one applied you see uh, as you see that the, the, uh, you can uh, this uh, fill the uh, differences I will put a uh, red color for this or, or any kind of color you, you are using no problem uh, leader type is arc the leader uh, Tick mark maybe uh, this one if we say uh, uh, for this one and uh, what else we have to uh, let's say this one is one see the, this is the the gap between elements if you want you can you can put 1.2 maybe it's better just like this okay the extension again uh, I think now is very good so what we uh, are doing now again putting uh, this for this bar as you see now this one it, it gives us from where to where okay of course what, what we can do uh, click again what we can do cancel after that what we can do for this we can just ch say uh, that show dimensions you see so it gives us the dimension line also we have uh, this distance uh, to this distance we have 300 uh, uh, this tag of course we, we talk about the tag how, how we, we can modify this one so uh, we can go with uh, choose another tag. I don't know maybe this one or th uh, 30 millimeter. Or if we want, if we want, we can uh, select one one of the tags, and we can go with the the tag family. This tag family, and we can uh, uh, adjust the tag family for that. For this tag family and edit family. Here we have the, this one and rebar number. I can go edit label, rebar number. I don't need it. I need just quantity, type, and spacing. Apply it. Okay. Load into project. Override existing as you see now at 149. So uh, this is one of the ways to tagging this one. And again, uh, we have another thing. If we go to annotate and multi-tag 
from the multi tab we can uh, select mm, as many as bar we want we will use all this bar So it's too much. I will just uh, select all of the uh, all uh, this this part, and after clicking, I'll put the tag outside by clicking two times and cancel. Okay. You see, it's the <coughs> this is the center. As you see, the the center is open dots. But what I can do, I can use another another ta uh, tag family or another one another family for this. Uh, by going to annotate uh, dimension, uh, di linear dimension, what I'm doing, I'm just go with the EP slab reinforcement and duplicate uh, EP uh, slab reinforcement, let's say variable. Okay, from the variable, uh, what we have, we have open dots, but now we uh, want to make another thing. We can say now. Alright, from here, uh, go to slab reinforcement variable. You see now, you can see this, this, this is, again, if we want, we can uh, add this gap, uh, so no problem. We can add this, this gap to it. By changing the, uh, this gap, we can uh, where we can go. We can go and teach dimensions, dimension style, and mm. here yeah, dimension line extension is zero. We can just put some uh, some other values. Five ten, I don't know. You see, uh, it's five. This five is changed to something ten. Apply. Okay. So now as you see, here we can uh, use this tag uh, riba for uh, this one. Okay. Uh, we can do uh, the same thing for the uh, other the direction, but I think uh, now we are. Now we could do whatever we want with this as is here. Again, okay. if we if we put with this line, will be maybe will be better for us because we have uh, this dimension, we have this bar, we have uh, this dimension, we have this bar, and uh, this dimension, uh, this bar. Of course, it should uh, we should ha uh, add length for th for that. If if we add length for that, it will it will work better because uh, as we know, uh, when we are going sharp drawing, we have to uh, specify the length as also. So this is for uh, this lesson. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much.